yeah, um, I think I was strongly inspired by Carl Sagan when I was a kid. Um, I watched Cosmos avidly and, and adored it. And um, I think science communication has come a long way in terms of being prominent and, and present in, in the media. But I really think that Carl Sagan was kind of the best and still is that an awful lot of science communication is done but an awful lot of science communication doesn't capture the importance of the scientific method and the scientific process in the way that Carl Sagan tried to get it across. Um, it's, it's far too easy for people, especially nowadays, to use zappy computer graphics to make big images of black holes colliding and, and quasars and zooming down inside DNA molecules and stuff. And, overlook the central core of science which is the process of hypothesis testing falsification of, of hypotheses the development of alternate hypotheses and then the iterative steps that go into this and the essential value of questioning accepted wisdom I think that's that's something that we should try very hard to emphasize more within science popularization because if you miss out on that then popularizing science is really just popular popularizing argument from authority you know presenting presenting things as facts just because somebody in a lab coat says them is not science um, presenting the idea that and to go back to um, Richard Feynman again the the idea that I'd rather have a thousand unanswered questions than one, than one unquestioned answer. Um, I think that, that that attitude is something that should really be gotten across in science popularization more because that's something that translates not just to studying the structure of atoms and the structure of cells and the, the nature of heredity and the, the fate of the universe, but it's, it translates across to who do you vote for at the next election? and what kind of toothpaste do you buy and you know all these sorts of practical day-to-day -day things you know do I you know do I put solar panels on the roof of my house do I buy an electric car do I oppose or support nuclear energy all these sorts of things that have really important consequences for society and for the future of our civilization and the future of our planet and the habitability of our ecosystem and all these things all these vitally important things that, that really impact on everyone.